back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. In this video, I am sharing with you a little baby boy haul. So this is everything that I have purchased for my new baby boy that will be born in like a week and a half, which is insane to me. So I thought this would be fun to show you some of the things that I have purchased. I have done a baby shower haul on my channel already. So there's a lot of stuff over there, but then I thought I would show, show you the things that I have personally picked up for him. So if you don't know, I have a five-year-old boy named Brody, I have a three-year-old daughter named Addison, and then this is going to be Hunter and will be my second boy, third baby, and we are so excited. So it's been really fun to pick up some new things for him this time around because when I had my son Brody, that was five years ago, and there's so many cooler things now, so I'm really excited to show you. So let's start with some of the basic things that I've picked up just like necessity kind of things, and then we'll move into the more fun things. Okay, first up, I picked up a big box of baby wipes. I'm just using Huggies wipes. These are what we used with both of our other kids. Huggies are our favorite wipes that I've tried. So tried and true, we're going for that. Next, I grabbed a box of newborn Pampers diapers. So we like Huggies wipes, but Pampers diapers. I also really like Hello Bello diapers, and they actually had, I saw like a couple months ago, they had camo diapers, and I should have bought a couple packs, but I thought, oh, I don't like need them right now, and of course they're gone now, so I'm kind of sad about that. I do like Hello Bello diapers, but this was just, when I was at Target, this was easy. So I grabbed one box of newborn diapers. This was like a box of 84, and my, Kids usually like don't wear newborn diapers for very long. Sometimes it's like a Brody, I think only wore them for like a week. So I didn't want to get too many. So we'll just see where we're at. You know, something I want to encourage you in if you are a first time mom or something, sometimes you feel like you have to stock up on all these things. But the reality is like I could be sitting in the hospital and like place an Amazon order and it would be at my house in a couple hours or the next day no big deal your husband can run to the store like i'd rather not be stocked up on a bunch of newborn diapers that i don't end up using so we'll just see how it goes and if we run out of these and we need more we can always go get more if we don't need to bump up to size one so our plan is to be using pampers diapers but if um you know if hello bello gets some really cool prints or something like that i may do that too Okay, next up for breastfeeding, nursing, all that kind of stuff, Medela nursing pads are my favorite. These are the disposable ones. And I've tried the Lansano ones, I've tried all different brands, and these are my favorite. So I got a box of those. And then for storage bags for your breast milk, I actually like the Lansano better. So these are the milk storage bags I'll be using. And the reason I like these better than the Medela ones is because the Medela ones actually have like a hole at the top. And I think that has something to do with attaching it to your pump, but I never did that. I always pumped into a bottle and then would dump it in here to store. And so I found that with those holes in the top of it, so many times the milk would fly through the other side and it drove me crazy. So I really like these a lot better. Next is something I've never tried before, but I'm excited to try it out this time. I ordered a Hakka. Everybody raves about these. And with Addison, I used what was called a milk saver or something like that. So you would put that in one side of your bra, um, the opposite side that you were nursing on. So it would catch your letdown and you could like save up a little bit of extra milk that way. And I'm pretty sure this does like the same thing. It's just like the newer version that everybody uses. So excited to try that out. And then a couple fun things that I don't think... Like this, I don't think I'll be able to link for you, but this was like a cute little shirt that Steven picked up. Steven and Brody picked this up for Hunter from a store that we have here called NRS. It's like a cowboy store <laughs> and just a cute little t-shirt. So it's like a zero to three month shirt, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, three to six. Anyway, so he'll wear that later. And then something that Steven always does for, well, I guess we've only had one boy, but he did this for Brody, so he did this for Hunter, is he bought them a pair of Anderson Bean cowboy boots to wear home from the hospital and then to just wear with little jeans and stuff when they're babies, and I just think they're so cute. So these are little baby boots, and they're like soft on the bottom. And so Brody's first pair were red tops, and so we got the navy for Hunter. 
which is really cute. So I, I'll link these below if you're into cowboy boots, but they're so cute. We have so many cute pictures of Brody in his little baby boots. So this will be fun to have for Hunter as well. And actually Hunter's coming home from the hospital outfit was delivered today in the mail. It's in the mailbox right now. So Steven's gonna grab that for me. So I'll show you that at the end. Okay, and then something else I got for the hospital is this little name thing. It's like a little wood name sign. And I got this off of Etsy. Excuse my nails, by the way. I'm getting those done like next week. So they're like done really close to when I go to the hospital. But anyways, I ordered this off of Etsy. I'll link the shop in the description box below, but I plan to get like a cute little picture of him in the bassinet, like with this laying on his chest or like next to him or something like that. You guys already know his name. I've already announced it, but I just thought it'd be fun to like get a cute little picture with him and then have that as like a little keepsake. And then I ordered a black crib sheet. I only ordered one because I'm not sure if I want to only have black sheets. I may want like a couple other cool like designs and prints. Steven's supposed to put the crib together for me in a couple days. And so once I get it on, I like see the look of everything with the throw pillows and I'm finishing up their room and then I'll have a better gauge. And again, I can just order another crib sheet. He's not gonna be sleeping in the crib for a little while, so it's no big deal, but I just got a solid black one from Amazon. So super simple. The next thing I'm really excited about are these bibs pacifiers and they are in this really cool like olive green color. We love olive green, army green. Brody's favorite color is green. Their room has like green touches in it and I just thought these were so cool. With Addison we loved the Ryan and Rose passies and they're so cute but I do feel like they're like a little bit more feminine. So I thought these were like more boyish. So I'm excited to try these. I want them, I want to get them in like a tan and a black as well. I feel like I need to wait and make sure that he even likes them or that he'll even take a pacifier before I buy a bunch of packs and wash them and stuff. But I'm going to get these like washed and set up. But then if he likes them, then I'll order a couple more packs. Okay, so that's all the kind of like random things that I've purchased. I really haven't bought that much because I've already had two babies. So really like all the main things like we already had and then we got a lot of nice things for our shower. And so honestly, like it's just been kind of like onesies and clothes and stuff like that. So I'll show you the clothes that I've gotten him and then that'll be it. So I have been filming a nest with me video today. And so I've been like nesting and like organizing things. It's been so fun, but I should have filmed this before I did that because all of these clothes are perfectly folded. I've already washed them and stuff. So it's fine. I'll just have to refold them. But okay. The first little set that I got, I love these. This was a set of three. I got newborn size in these pajamas so these are from target they are the cloud island brand love these and then these and they have like little is that a bear i was thinking raccoon yeah and then bear and um then some little clouds so these are really a good set i had these for addison and i loved them and so what i love about them is number one you get three sleepers for $12.99. I actually got these on sale. And so they're a great price, but then also the zipper, they're zippers, which is key. You do not want button onesies in the middle of the night. It's like such a pain. But what's crazy about these is they zip from the bottom. So they go like that. So what's cool about it is that you can get to your baby's diaper and you can change your baby's diaper without having to like take, like fully unzip them and then their chest gets really cold. So you can just zip it like halfway and then you can pull their leg out and you can change their diaper, which is really cool. So it's like kind of, I remember the first time I had them, I was like, where's the zipper? I'm so confused. Cause at the top, it's like how typically it would be at the bottom. So these are Cloud Island brand. Like I said, they have a lot of cute sets, but I didn't want to get too many newborn things just cause I don't know, like they don't stay in newborn stuff for very long. So I got those and Brody has some newborn sleepers that he'll also use. Then I got this one. This is from Old Navy. Just like little lions with a zipper as well. So that one zips from the top. So then on this one, obviously when you change their diaper, you have to unzip everything and then they're so cold and they're yelling and ah, <laughs> craziness. Okay. 
And then let's see what other little newborn things did I get? I got this little sweatsuit. I love these. These are from Target right now. Um, I think they're Cat and Jack. Yeah. So I got that with the little newborn sweatpants. So cute. Aren't they so tiny? It's crazy. So I thought that would be really cute and I'll just put like a little white onesie underneath it or something like that. But since he's going to be born in October and we're headed into fall, although it's still hot here in Texas, I don't know, it might be too hot for him to even wear that before he's like out of newborn clothes. We'll see. Then I got him this little charcoal thermal from Target. This is also newborn size and then these little charcoal newborn size pants. So with boys, I feel like it's so simple. I just like solids. I don't like a lot of crazy like characters and stuff. And with girls, they need all the bows and all the things. And it's so over the top, but it's so fun. So boy stuff is way more simple for sure. Okay, and then the other things I've picked up in some bigger sizes. This is um, zero to three months. This is from Old Navy. Just basic, like... These old navy ones weren't like my all time favorite, but when I find some that are like decent, that have zippers, it's like, okay, you need those. You can't have too many PJs. I feel like when they're like really little babies, they are just so comfy in PJs and sometimes I don't even change them out. Like, but they, all kinds of things happen <laughs> to a million outfits a day. And so you need a bunch of the little sleepers. I love this one. I got this one. This is one of the first things I bought for him from old navy like a ribbed heathered gray little sleeper zero to three months and then I got this one actually at Walmart this was like four dollars or something but we love camo and this one's not quite as soft as some of the others but still really cute and then I love this little outfit this is cat and jack it's like this like heathered gray kind of outfit and it doesn't have the feet so it's not really pajamas like I would put him in this to wear out somewhere with some little socks or something so I thought that was really cute and then I got him the same sweatsuit as the teal one but in this like camel color because I really liked it and this is in the zero to three month size the little pants so cute so that's literally everything that I have personally purchased for him so like I mean besides like all the stuff for their room and like stuff like that but like really I haven't bought that much Brody has a bunch of clothes they are in different seasons so I'm not really sure how much of it I'll actually be able to use but it's kind of crazy because I feel like your first baby it's like you go nuts and you make sure you have all these things and that you're so prepared and all this stuff and this time I'm like I don't know like we'll just roll with it like he's got some pjs he's got diapers and wipes and then as he like grows out of things or needs new clothes i'll just like order him stuff you know what i mean we don't have tons of storage so i didn't pull out tons of sizes of brody's clothes and i don't want to stock up on a bunch of big bigger sizes of things that i just don't really have a place to store at the moment so keeping it pretty simple and that's about it. So I will link everything in the description box below that I can. Hopefully this helps you. I do have like, when I do the room tour, I will like share where everything is from because everything that I've purchased for their room, is kind of like a whole separate video. So I'll share with you all of that stuff. And then I've got lots of more content coming out of like our hospital bags and all kinds of stuff. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you'd hit that subscribe button. I post motherhood and lifestyle content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if that's something you're into, I would love to have you. And let me know in the comments what kind of things you have purchased for your baby if you are also expecting. Oh, I did want to let you know, I did order a couple other things. I just realized. I was gonna make a list earlier I should have but they aren't here yet so I ordered the I'll pop up a picture so you can see what I'm talking about the angel care bath it's like a baby bath I had that for Addison and we really liked it with her and we still have it I just need to donate it because it's hot pink and I don't want to use that for Hunter so I've just got it in gray for him and then I also ordered some of those swaddle me swaddles they're like a baby straight jacket and they are amazing like I didn't have those with Brody and then I did with Addison and literally I said this in my last like baby shower haul Addison was sleeping through the night at two weeks old like 12 hours of night a night I don't know how but she has been sleeping through the night since she was two weeks old so 
fingers crossed i mean i'm not counting on it but brody didn't sleep through the night till he was six months old addison two weeks and so we will see how it goes this time but she loved like i put her in those swaddle me swaddles and they kept her so nice and cozy and tight and maybe that's maybe she really liked that she also had a doc tot and brody didn't have a doc tot so i don't know i'm gonna try the same formula and we'll see how it goes so i ordered let me see if that's it um course like crib mattress crib things like that um that i'll show you in a different video um swaddle me swaddles and the baby bath i think that's it because all these other things we already had so okay here is the little coming home outfit for hunter that i said just came in the mail so it is by lulu and company it is a top and bottom set and it is so soft. I got it in the newborn size, obviously. On their website, I think it does say zero to three months or newborn to three months, but it is technically newborn. If you look at their size chart, the weight of the baby um, definitely lends towards a newborn. So I just got this set in black and it comes with these little pants that have the feet in them. So he'll wear his little cowboy boots on the outside of this. And they are so soft you can tell this is like a really high quality set cute little buttons and it does have the little like um thing here where you can like flip it over their hands so they don't scratch themselves if you want but anyway i was very impressed with the packaging this is the first time i've ever ordered anything from this company and super impressed with just like the whole presentation basically um it is a little bit higher end i want to say this was like $42 for the set something like that before tax but I think it's just perfect for a little coming home outfit he'll be nice and comfy and it's so cute so that is the final thing I wanted to share with you hope you enjoyed this haul if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you are new and I'll see you in my next one it's almost baby time and it's insane see you guys later bye